Thanks for meeting with me, Michael. I've always been interested in writing, and the Bardell Bear Hug seems like the great place to start. It really is, Margot. I mean, it's the best place for aspiring writers and journalists to get involved and showcase their work without all the harsh criticisms. <laughs> yeah, because nobody reads the school newspaper. No, because we're all students here and we don't disrespect each other's work. For your information, Margot, I mean, many students read the paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll have you know, we distribute 100 copies of the Bardell Bear Hug every week. Um, I was... I know, I know, I know. About 60 of those copies end up in the garbage. I've counted, okay? But it's been a rough semester. Who are you to judge? I mean, have, have you tried to run a paper in a second-rate school where nobody cares? I'm sorry, I didn't mean any of that. I just... Look, I've... I've just been trying to get into something. You know, um... I, ever since I transferred here, I just don't feel like I'm that involved. Wait. You transferred here? From where? Um... Columbia. Columbia? <laughs> nice try, new girl. A Bardell student from Columbia? Yeah. No. No. That was a joke, right? I came here to get a letter of recommendation for the newspaper. Done. It's not a problem. Actually, I have your records right here. Oh. Oh. Margo, you know your scholarship has a, a 3.0 GPA minimum, and mm -hmm. uh, you're sitting at a 2.98 at the moment. If you can't pull it up with this semester's final... I'll lose my scholarship. Oh, wow. Not be serious right now. Um, <sighs> who are you talking to? Whoever's up there playing this practical joke on me. It's not funny anymore. That seat saved. Oh, sorry. That one saved too. Um, it's saved, Marco. How many friends do you have? I said it's saved. Class, I have the grades for your first exam, and I'm not about to pass back the scantron so you can set them online. So. Listen to your names as I announce them out loud, from lowest grade to highest. Margot Peters, 57. Effie Langston, 62. Daphne Cartwright, 67. Good afternoon, ladies. Why aren't you dressed? You do realize it's Greek week, right? Yeah, it is. So? So Greek week means Greek games? Yeah, Elizabeth, we don't really do that. Yeah, well, we're already behind in our training, so we need to start training tonight. But Hannah Montana comes on tonight. Yeah, and Harry Potter comes on after that. Hannah Montana's marathoning all night, so Harry can wait. What the frack? You can just TiVo Hannah. You can TiVo Harry! Girls, why don't I just disconnect the cable entirely so that we can concentrate on the Greek games? No. no. <laughs> Wow, Elizabeth Martin. I heard you were shocking up with Pyrogamma, so I had to see it for myself. <laughs> and now I have. 
Wow, Jessica Ann Holds, you're never really gone, are you? You're like a rat that way. That and the smell, of course. <laughs> wow, Elizabeth, I don't know if I'd be the one hurling insults, especially after you got so wasted at Zeta Beta Theta that one night. <laughs> How did you get that drunk off of just one drink? What are you talking about? Oh, no, you didn't. Hmm. You are a mean drunk. Good to know you'll be able to drink away your sorrows after your epic fail at Greek games next week. You should know that Pyro Gamma is gonna put Thi Alpha Beta in the ground next week, understand? That's ambitious. And you should know that Thi Alpha Beta is gonna win like we do every year. Then you can feel free to remove your sorry ass from the Greek system. Okay? Done. And if Pyro Gamma wins, you step down as Thi Alpha Beta president. Okay? Sorted. See you then. I would be a firefighter, but I hate fire. I remember hearing about some girl last year torturing her dorm room on fire, and I was like, damn! Hmm. Nope, not a firefighter. Can we talk about something else now? I still got like 50 more career pamphlets that I got from Sandra's office. We have to go through all of them now? Yes, Renee, we've been through this already. Look, I'm not the Clive Jenkins football star anymore. I'm trying to just figure out who I am now. Why can't you just be Clive Clive? Clive, the funny guy. Clive, the pain in my ass. Clive, my boyfriend. <clears throat> boyfriend? Really? <laughs> Yo, that's mad cool though, cause it's like, my mom's been asking me if we was gonna go steady, and I didn't even know what to say. It's like, it so I- It is, Clive. Let's just be chill about it, all right? I mean, you know me, <laughs> chilling like a villain, baby. Yeah, sure. Listen, I'm not feeling very inspired right now, so I'm gonna take a nap. Um, but uh, you do know I, I got a way I can get you inspired. Clive, I'm taking a nap. Hey there, Rebecca? No. Anastasia? No, it's Kyla. And I think my dog would be a better RA than you. Kyla, that's exactly what I came to talk to you about. See, I'm gonna be studying abroad next semester in Cabo, and I've decided to choose you as the next 12th floor RA. I'd rather eat sawdust. Oh wait, I've already done that. <laughs> You're so funny, Kyla. I knew you'd be perfect candidate for the job. You did? Yes. I mean, you're like a total people person. I am? Of course, and I know you're great with children. Are we even talking about the same person? Um, hey, Professor Binder, how are you? Now, we've been in class every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the last 15 weeks, and today, you ask, how are you? What do you want? Okay, um, I just, honestly, I really need an extra credit opportunity. That ship sailed a long time ago. Did you not see Carla Kane's documentary? No, I saw it. But I was thinking maybe it's something more bookworky, like an essay or, or something, anything. Listen, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. This isn't high school. This isn't high school. This isn't high school, Marco. This isn't high school, Marco.
This isn't high school, Marco. This isn't some happy-go-lucky, sharing is caring little world like in those stupid books of yours. This is the real world, and in the real world, you can't just come into my territory and take something that isn't yours, okay? Okay? Okay. I'm sorry, Kendall. It, it won't happen again. It better not. I don't want to see you even taking a shot glass of my milk ever again. I don't drink milk out of a shot glass. Well, some people do. I have a house party to go to. Later, Frumpy. Quit the distracting puppy dog eyes and use it already. Huh? My God, do you speak English? Talk to Marjo already. And stop making this all a big episode of Dawson's Creek about it. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I have nothing to say to Margot. Just drop it. Smooth, Skywalker. Okay, ladies, this is called the stiletto race. It's basically speed walking in stilettos. The minimum heel height is four inches, and the first one to the finish line wins. Capiche? A stiletto race? Is that really necessary? If you want to win the Greek games, it's very necessary. Okay, Elizabeth. Are we done now? I need to go home and study for my finals. Yeah, and I'd rather be watching Harry. Um, Elizabeth, what are you doing? I'm praying for you in your empty, empty lives. I did? Oh, yeah! I did. I don't know how you did it, but it's amazing. I'm so glad I met you. Cool. I'm so glad that I met you. I can't, I can't believe that painting, Clive. I mean, Professor Dreyer said that the depth and the composition of the brown sea looked like something a seasoned artist painted. Wait. That's not a brown sea. It isn't? No. Then what is it? It's you. It's your beautiful, <sighs> luscious hair. You drew my hair? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and your professor said it looks seasoned, huh? Seasoned is good, right? Um, Clive, you drew my hair. You drew my hair and made it look like a dirty brown ocean. I am. A seasoned artist. That's it! That's my, um, what's it called? Clive, are you even listening to me? My calling! Art is my calling! Stoneham School of Art and Design. Renee, you hear that? No, what are you talking about? It's Stoneham calling. You get it? <laughs> cause, cause it's my calling. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can always take an incomplete. No. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. I just, I can't do that. Well, you can um, always try and ace your finals. That might do it. I ace my finals. I can't do that. <laughs> This is too much pressure. I can't think. I can't study. I can't do... Margo, I like you. I think you're a bright girl, but I can't help you here. Yeah. Sandra, please. You have to help me. I just, I need your help. Margo, just take a breath, okay? Calm down. Calm down? Calm down? Everyone always tells me to calm down. 
but they never tell me how. I have absolutely no friends here. The only guy who talked to me won't even tolerate me anymore, and now I'm failing? I'm failing? I do the same thing. I just try and fail and try and fail again. It's the same damn circle and I'm just done. I'm done with it. Margo, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Look, you don't even know what happened at my last school. I mean, you read the police report and everything, but you don't really know what happened. What happened, Margo? I was failing then, too. Failing out of the honors program. I tried smoking to kick the anxiety, but it wasn't exactly working for me. Nothing was. What, so you're a smoker now? God, Margo, you were such an attention whore. No, Kendall, I just, it just helps me calm down. A coma couldn't help you calm down. Let me guess, you're just smoking, so guys will mistake you as edgy, right? You're better off washing your hair, or I don't know, wearing something other than sweatpants. Hey, okay, I do not always wear sweatpants. Sure you don't, Frumpy. Hey, okay, stop calling me that. Whatever, why don't you just go eat some more calories? They're the only friends you have. Firefighters came. I was passed out and I woke up in the hospital. Kendall survived and everything, but it was bad. I took the next semester off school and my mom put me in this therapy program. And then I came here. The girl in this photo is my daughter Zoe. My daughter, who I barely get to see only three days out of the week, <laughs> makes me want to wake up every morning and cuss out the first person that I see. So, what happened? Oh, same old story. Fell in love with a man who was more in love with himself and um, apparently Zoe's kindergarten teacher. <laughs> We divorced when Zoe was five, and it was a pretty ugly custody battle. I, uh, I lost my mind a little bit through it. It was quite a breakdown. <laughs> you? You had a breakdown? What? You thought, um, you're the only one with life issues and ups and downs every now and then? Well, what happened? How did you... Get over the stuff with your daughter. Margo, nobody ever gets done with their problems. I know I told you that college is all about uncertainty, but really, honestly, so is life. There's like this, this spoon in the road. A spoon in the road? 
Well, what I mean is there's no real beginning and, and end. Life just goes in one big continuous cycle. And I may never be okay with the fact that Zoe lives with her dad. And you may never be okay with what happened at Columbia, but we manage. And we learn to just move along. And the more we move along, the more we learn to circle around the, the spoon. It's in the, well, you get the metaphor. So, just out of curiosity, who is the woman in the photo? Well, that's my sister. We know that's all there is under that flat hair of yours. My hair is not flat. It's flatter than your personality. <laughs> oh my god! It's Justin Bieber! Where? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's cheating! It's not my fault Elizabeth is a thing for 12 year olds. All fair in love and war. Point for Thai Alpha Beta! <laughs> Next game's Tug of War and it's a three pointer. Whoever wins this one takes the cake. Ooh, cake! Not that kind of cake. Wanted to rip your clothes right off It was such a beautiful Yo, Luke! Hey, where are you off to? Uh, my music appreciation final. I'm trying to get the last bit of studying in, so yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I got my winery final. <laughs> Winery? Yeah. Dude, the study of wine? <laughs> I know what winery is, okay? Anyway, you know, I just wanted to say I'm sorry if I made you feel insecure this semester. <laughs> Why would you make me feel insecure? <laughs> well, you know, I proved you wrong at the Battle of the Bands and took all your thunder with my banging performance. <laughs> had the great day with Renee. <laughs> well, you and Margo had the worst date ever. <laughs> Now, I finally know my calling. Well, you're still floating aimlessly. <laughs> You're calling really Clive? What is it, like air hockey or foosball or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's art. <laughs> and I just sent an application to Stoneham, so I'll be going there next semester. It's December, Clive, and uh, pretty sure the application process probably ended about a month or two ago. <laughs> Dreamers don't let things like deadlines get in their way. And speaking of dreams, yo, I think you should really talk to Margo. Why does everybody keep saying that? And why do you even care? Because I think you should listen to your heart and follow your dreams. Like I did. I do feel sorry for you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Having to resort to the hot mess sorority. It's kind of like House Bunny. Only without the cute outfits or the happy ending. You know what, Justine? I don't really care about what you think anymore. You're not that classy or clever or pretty. She's not? No, she's not. Underneath it all, you're pretty damn ugly. Bulldog ugly or pyrogamma ugly? I know you did not just call my sisters ugly. <laughs> Jessie Ann, we'll see who's ugly when we beat you so bad you cry. Yeah, Jessie Ann. You know what this is really for. For every action, for every action. Every action. Every action. Every action. You know you dead wrong. You know you messed up. Quit playing with me. You know what? Thanks for having my back, girl. Anything for a sister. Let's go. Put your sugar in your hands. Oh, I'm home. You know you dead wrong. You know you messed up. Quit playing with me. Do not let this kid win. Tyro, give up. Let's go. Over what? Some stupid Greek game? It's ridiculous. Stupid? I thought you said the Greek games were the most important event of our lives. The reason why we even came to college. The reason why we were born. I lied! They're stupid. They have no real value in the real world. God. 
But we gave up lattes for a week. <laughs> Do you want me to step down as president? Do you? I didn't think so. Oh, this must be a dream. This can't be real life. This is what you want, hmm? I made you. I made you, you, and you. I made this whole damn house. This is what you want? Fine. I'm done. I hope you're happy, Elizabeth Martin. I hope all of you are so happy for now. <laughs> As you may know, I will be studying abroad in Cabo next semester. Exciting. I know. But I'm really gonna miss you girls here this semester. <laughs> um, do you even know our names? Of course I do, Susan. But changes will come January. Kyla Kane will be your next 12th floor RA. Are you Are what? You've got to be kidding. Is that what you're talking about? Are you serious? Kyla Kane is practically the devil. That is rude. I know, it's okay. I take that as a compliment. See, she's evil. She ruined my life, Lexi's life, and practically got Jackie kicked out of the dorm herself. And now you're letting her take over the whole hall? She's gonna make our lives miserable. Stop being silly, Rebecca. Kyla Kane is one of the sweetest girls I know. Yeah, what? Are, were you Are you here kidding? This oh my you, god. You know no, Have you said anything we just said? No, no, I'm not. I'll be in. Do you know what happened? Getting my own apartment next semester. She will be an excellent leader for you girls. You're right, Rena. I will make an excellent dictator. I mean, leader for the girls. Can't wait till next semester. Hey, I've got an hour before my sociology exam, so can I just check my email for stoneum? Thanks. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I got an email! Already? What'd they say? I don't know, let me see. I got in! Wow, Clive, that... Yo, this is... <laughs> Yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the new Clive Jenkins. You know what I'm saying? Goodbye, Bardell. Wow, Clive. Hello, Stoneham, you know what I'm saying? Wow, Clive, that's great. I'm really happy for you. In order, make up some nice stories to amuse you. Make things look smart and easy. Shame. She's so going to crack. For the sake of all of our lives, let's hope not. What are you talking about? Oh, you guys don't know. Margot had a whole mess of a time at Columbia last year. Columbia? Yeah, but I can't say any more because I promised to keep it a secret if she changed the group topic presentation. You what? Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of a bitch. We've done this already. Well, come on. What's the worst thing Marjo could have done? Get kicked off the chess club? Well, you didn't hear this from me, but... She kind of went crazy and burned her dorm room down. She was in therapy for like a whole year about it, according to her permanent file. Well, I'm impressed. Wow. I mean, I know Margot was crazy, but damn. I was sitting next to the dorm burning girl all semester. So keep your pipe dreams. I'll be cool. Need a reassurance, yeah, but I didn't need it from you. See, even though I didn't say it, but I kept it inside. When I finally found myself, you wasn't helping me. Look, so goodbye. Peace. So goodbye. So goodbye. Margo! Please. Margo. Margo, please. Luke, what are you doing? Please. Please. Are you Joe. okay? Joe. I've been searching all over. I love her, campus for you. Please don't, don't burn down the school, okay? I'm not gonna burn down the building. I just, I can't believe Elizabeth told you. Yes. Look, it was an accident. I didn't mean for anyone to get hurt, and this is just getting so. Sorry, I just, I didn't know that's how you like deal with stress or something, you know? <sighs> yeah, because I'm so crazy, so crazy that you've ignored me for the past two weeks and acted like I haven't even existed. I don't, I don't care that you're crazy, Margo. Well. You, you're not crazy, I just, well, I, I don't think you're crazy, it's just, 
I, I wouldn't even care if you're crazy, okay? It's... I thought you hated me. Like, I don't hate you, it's just... Look, this wasn't how this year was supposed to be, and... I guess... I guess I blamed you. Partially, at least. Well, uh... You wanna start over? Clean slate? Clean slate? I can do that. Well, hi. My name's Luke. Nice to meet you. Oh, you are such a chick flick cliche. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? In a cute, adorable way, but yeah. <laughs> adorable? Well, you're kind of really handsome in that <laughs> weird, rugged kind of way. Oh yeah? Like homeless people? Like homeless people. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we should just be friends. Uh, yeah. Friends. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I just, I could really use a friend here, and I don't really know anybody, so... Is uh, that okay? That, that's cool. Fine. Friends. Neat. So, so friend, uh... You ready for that sociology final? <laughs> Probably not, but hell, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I am passing out your final exams. Please clear your desk, remove your baseball caps, and take out your writing utensils. Now, this exam will take two hours, and for those of you that finished before then, most likely you'll fail. Now, lastly, it's been a complete joy. Well, maybe not a joy, but an acquired taste teaching you all every other day. Have a fun winter break. Damn it, I can't believe Marjo freaking Peters burned down a dorm and I haven't yet. I need to add that to my to-do list. That and a mall, a suburban mall. A suburban mall with Marjo in it. Oh, that'd be heaven <laughs> or hell. Man, I hope this test is multiple choice or maybe matching or something. I was good at those in elementary school. Man, those was the days. I was balling even in the first grade. Why don't they have nap time in college? Oh, we got our papers and exams and the hotties. No clock, focus, test, test. Tiffany's looking fine over there. Test! I hope Luke studied. Mmm, bop, dip, dap, dap, do, bop. I don't care what people say. It's still a good song. Ugh, Professor Binder's outfit looks like it came straight out of the Golden Girls washing machine. And what the hell does little Miss Leggings think she's wearing? Girl, you are not Lindsay Lohan. Leave those things at home. Tiffany is looking pretty dull today. What an 8.4. <sighs> oh, Margo, you are so lost in life. Your clothes and shoes don't even match. Do you want people to think you're colorblind? All right, Margo. Mind clear, nerves in check. <sighs> Let's just see how it goes.